Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching all three parts of the finale of Battlestar Galactica. They will be in separate reactions, so I don't know if there's going to be openings to those. I don't know if there's going to be a previously on. I don't know. It might just jump right into it. But uh, we didn't want to combine everything because when you do that, you have to cut a bunch of stuff out. So I wanted to be able to give you guys as much in these edits as possible. Uh, the full length reactions will be on Patreon and both extended and regular cut. I will be watching the extended cut today. Um, so I'm... <laughs> I've been dreading this all week. Um, I, I, I literally have been putting this off because I have completion anxiety. I, I am so anxious about finishing this and having to say goodbye. And um, I have grown to love these characters so much. And you could tell I moved everything over here today that we got Galactica and a Viper. We got Starbuck. We got Eddie and a future character in a show I'll be starting after this one. Uh, and then, of course, The Last Supper, which I've been studying that because I was told like it's meaningful. But... <laughs> I don't think if you know anything about The Last Supper that this is going to help, so I don't, I don't know. Um, but I've been dreading this all week. I've actually had to get a massage today because I've had so much tension in my shoulder and my neck and my jaw. I couldn't sleep last night. I'm a mess. I am a mess. I have been fearing this breakup for a while. Um, and it's, it's because goodbyes are hard, but especially inevitable goodbyes. And not just to the show, not just to the character and to the story, but like, I know for a fact two characters are going to die in this. And it's going to be Rosalind and it's going to be our girl Galactica. And both of those are really hard to swallow. And then if anybody else follows, it's going to be really, really hard on me. And I have a hard time letting go. <sighs> so... Last episode, um, we actually got Kara letting go of kind of everything. And, you know, she's ready to move forward and figure out why she is back, why she is the harbinger of death. And Sam is the key to that. And she plugged him back in, which I'm afraid could tear Galactica apart if he says jump, Galactica snaps in half. I don't think that's what's going to happen. But, like, I'm not happy because like the, the 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 more she falls apart the quicker the goodbye is i don't have much of a choice at this point um but you know uh, i would like some answers in starbuck now i know she's harbinger of death which is like an angel she's a herald whatever it may be but i'm like what the hell does that even mean for the story like like that she was just gifted another life to save people starbuck okay she's a chosen one or something i don't know <laughs> Again, like the thing with, with this show is that nothing is just like plain out written clear. There's not like an exposition saying, hey, dummy, this is what we mean. Sometimes I need that. I just want an answer and I want it like plain and simple. And I'm sure in the comments, everybody will be giving me those answers. Uh, and in the comments of this, that is completely fine because I will have already seen everything by then. So spoil away. Um, well, I guess. I don't know. People who haven't seen it might be a little sad. Don't read the comments then first. Do what we've been told to do and just put spoiler and then go. Just just so we're not ruining anyone else's good time. So we were left with Cavill having Hera after the worst babysitter, caregiver, kidnapper in the world boomer is mean to her, yelling at her, threatens to stab her with some morphine or whatever they call it, morpha. Uh, like, chill, Boomer. Chill. She finally, like, projects so Hera is kind of in a safer space um, and sees kind of this life that Boomer wanted to have with Chief and, like, the, the kid that they wanted to have together. And, and I think that helps Hera a little bit to calm down, but... I do think that, you know, uh, when we see Boomer crying at the end, that she feels incredibly guilty. Good. Uh, that ain't your baby. That ain't your kid. And um, if Athena kills you, 
I'm okay with it. If 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 Hilo kills you, I think that would be kind of a shock because Hilo is like such a good guy. But he really wanted to go look for Hera. He was hurting. He was broken up about it. He wanted to do something about it. And of course, Athena is mad at him because of what happened with Boomer. Um, and and uh, Athena is just mad. She's mad at Chief. I will never forgive you. And you know, Chief just hangs up and walks away. Um, I get it. I get it. I think it's misplaced anger because it's not Hilo or 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 chief's fault i was trying to not to say boomer because it is slightly boomer's fault but like direct that all at cavill just direct it all at cavill give him everything everything he deserves slowly slowly would be nice let him really have the human experience of pain you know you know not just letting him bleed out on new caprica but like you know like remove a foot sew it up Remove another foot. I'm very sadistic. That is what the pain means. It means I leave you in anguish. But, you know, like, like I just want Cavill to experience the pain that he has put so many other people through. Uh, silent and humans alike. And especially Ellen. You know, like, like in, in, the, in the Final Five and what he did with them and that what he's continuing to do uh, on the ship and what he was doing the, to the Centurions and like what he was going to do to the Raiders, like he was lobotomizing them. You know, he was essentially, you know, stopping them from becoming aware and uh, taking over and all the things that happens every time you treat them as slaves. If you treat them as equals, then you're not going to have that problem, Cavill you dumb shit anyway <laughs> dean stockwell does so good at making me hate him and it's funny because like when i first i was like oh he's like the little doo 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 guy from quantum leap and now i'm like that's full-on cavill and ooh, we ain't friends uh yeah i'm I, i'm ready to see him meet his end or or have a revelation i don't think that's gonna happen but uh, I, 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 I'm interested to see how Gaius' story is going to be capped off on this. Um, you know, him and Six had that moment and she says, like, you haven't changed. I have. Um, you know, she was with Ty, which I think we all agree was very odd. And now Ellen's back. So I think she got her man. Um, and then Head Six was like, she's not the one. And Gaius is like, she's the only one. I don't I don't know what that's all about, but I'm 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 wanting I'm wanting the answer to exactly what Gaius's role is through this whole thing, because I love the character of Gaius Baltar in such a way that he drives me crazy. He makes me so mad. I, I harbor some resentment for what he did to help the Cylons. But, you know, I love the fact that he's helped humans after that to try to make up for things. But, you know, he's also self-serving. So then there's that. But then, like, he was trying his best at, at, at just being a good person. But he's still Gaius. Like, there's a <laughs> He is so complex. I'm going to miss James Callis's performance. And oddly enough, um, I must have watched the uh, uh, Portlandia sketch for Battlestar Galactica but only the portion in which they were watching it. I didn't watch the entire rest when they go to find Ronald D. Moore and when they find him and who they meet along the way and who else is in that sketch. And then I watched it yesterday and I was like, you have got to be kidding me. I can't believe I missed that whole end part of that sketch because gold, absolute gold. And, you know, oddly enough, the show that they uh, start watching at the end of that sketch, I will also be watching when this show is over. So we've got this guy as a clue, and and we've got um, a lot of DVDs up there and companion DVDs, which I don't I don't think <coughs> excuse me I don't think I'll be watching those for the channel because uh, I'll be eighty and dead by the time I finished. But uh, yeah yeah, go watch that skit. One of my favorite things about this entire show has been the love that these two men, that Ty and Adama have had for each other. The entire show where they have fought like brothers and they have drank like brothers and they've had funny moments like brothers. And like, they are family and they love each other very much. And, you know, I mean, Ty like named his son Liam after William Adama. I never knew that. And I feel really dumb until they said it. And I was like, oh, that's great. Uh, but like, I, I love their relationship. I love how they uh, stick by each other's side. Um, that even though, you know, Adama knows that Ty is a Cylon, he is still Ty to him. He is still Saul Ty, that man that he's known 
for all these years. And I love their relationship. And, you know, the, the way they've leaned on each other the past couple episodes, I think, has just been absolutely beautiful. And, you know, at the end of the last episode, you know, Adama's ready to abandon ship. He's ready to get people to other places and make sure they're safe. I don't like how the council was like trying to part her off and auction things off and like to the highest bidder. It made me feel really gross inside because like, you know, to us, I don't want to say Galactica is like a human, but to us, she's a person. She's real. She's something special. She's not something that you just take pieces of. And, uh, you know, uh, the whole last episode was Adama coming to grips with that and accepting it and going through those stages of grief. And I don't think I'm there yet. I'm glad he is. Um, but he's also got to say goodbye to Roslyn. And, you know, she might not ever see her cabin, like, built in the mountains and live there with him. But as we saw in a previous episode, when there's the river, I think maybe she might see her cabin and that might be where she goes home. Um, and that might be her home. Ugh. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, so I'm really nervous to see how this ends. I believe that Galactica is going to meet a beautiful, beautiful end. And I'm going to cry because she's my favorite character the entire show. And I'm not ready for it, but I don't think I have much of a choice. So guys, let's get into it. Galactica, the ship in the fleet. Jeez. And I am not drinking because I will be a mess and I know myself. <sighs> Where is this? Oh, is it Caprica before everything went down? Yeah. <laughs> Bear is already killing it. <sighs> you always drink and drive. I drink. He's not driving. He drives. Yeah. It's <laughs> the way to do it. Don't you? Don't you, know, you see I Nikki Klein? Not to rely on others as much as possible. Less chance of being let down that way. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> Here's hoping I won't let you down. Mark Shepard. Oh, this is crazy. I've actually forgotten your name. I bet. Probably never told him. Oh, hello. How are you? What? What? What's what? What's what? No, please, you have to wait. You have to. You can't leave. You will what? wait there or I'll sue you for abandonment. Yeah, I will. Well. Seems really important. That was a great shower. Oh, oh my God. This is so weird to That's see them in like amazing. everyday life. Clean up a little bit here. Oh boy, we drank a lot. Well, they did. They did. Oh, oh. What about me? Just, just a sip. A sip. Just, all right. She's far enough so along. Little. Little. Good. Stop. Gulp. <laughs> it's the least I could do for my little sister. Oh. Hey, I thought I was your little sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She had sisters. I love seeing her have a good time. Oh, frack me. He's early. Who's he? Just a second! Oh, is this before she trashed her place? It's, I mean, it is before the fall, yeah. You must be... Yeah. Is Zach still alive right now? Zach! Aww. Nice place. Uh, it's a rat trap, but the rent's cheap. You just get uglier every day. Hey, there he is. How are you? Ah, 
I see you've met my better half, and this one's <gasps> mine. Keep your hands off. And a girlfriend stealing from a brother, nice. Never stole his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're a really bad liar, right here. Dinner's almost ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at Starbucks being a little homemaker. It was a mistake. Nothing in my contract about being stabbed with a steak knife. What? Stealing. No one is stealing from you, Dad. All right? Then you just shut up. You're in enough trouble already. I'm out of here. I thought I asked you to wait in the car. This be the new one you be banging in. Eh? None of your bloody business. Now, uh. please. I'm... <laughs> you see, Gaius is ashamed of his family. I need this. Even I need this like accent. a fucking hole in the head. Stupid bastard actually wow. changed his accent. Would you believe that? That is the third nurse in a row now, Dad. We've heard his accent. No, we don't like to think about living on a farm and doing a day's all right, honest. All right, all right, all right, enough, enough, shut up. Oh, shut hey, up right hey, now. hey, 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 hey. You're an obnoxious, spiteful, cantankerous old git, and you're fracking lucky you're not living on the fracking street. Big man wow. cursing his father makes you feel important, dude. <sighs> Guys, maybe, oh, we maybe you should have stayed in the car. What a glimpse into Gaius's past. Uh, what's happening? Good morning. I'm Officer oh, Stephanie. No. This is Officer Sean with the Caprica City Police. Are you Laura oh, Boss? No. We need to speak with you. May we come inside? Yes. About what? Did something happen to our sisters? We're so sorry. We have to inform you there's been a terrible accident. Late last night, your sisters and your father were all killed. We weren't able to verify the identity of the bodies until a few hours ago. <sighs> Preliminary tests indicate he was intoxicated when he sideswiped the car with your father and your sisters. <sighs> Kill you, girl. I get it. I get it. Is she gonna see them at the cabin? At the river? Is she gonna see them again? <laughs> I think she wants us to cut the pain medication. I don't think she knows what she wants. I'm Delta. Okay, go ahead and shut it off. Her health declining with Galactica breaking apart and moaning and groaning. <sighs> Sir, it's like we're tearing the old girl's heart out. A Battlestar's whole purpose is to launch Vipers. I kind of know how you feel. Part of my heart's here too. Make the celebrities the last thing your men take out. <laughs> And turn out the lights and let the old girl die in peace. <laughs> the end times are approaching. Humanity's final end chapter times. is about to be written. And you final chapter you its author. of this Guys, book, right? Did you hear me? So at the end, end. <laughs> Who's that? There's never enough, you know. Oh yeah? It's a tragedy, your life. At the point I'm trying to make, Calvin. <laughs> Who's you know, Calvin? <laughs> so, if you could do your life over, what would you change? It's a very good question. I really want the, an answer to that question. I, I really, really do. Who is? Who are we with? Music notes, equations. What's happening? I didn't think that was Starbuck. 
The old man intends to fly the last Viper off ship himself. Tell the deck gang mm. to leave one launch tube intact. Yes, sir. For some reason, I feel like if he's the last one off the ship, he's not leaving the ship. Whoa. Is this the colony? Is it hidden in a nebula? Like, what is Cavill doing? You have to eat it now, all. Good for you, Hera. Screw you, Boomer. You're in big trouble. <sighs> Maybe try kindness? Quite easy, actually. You just weld this baby at the T-joint at the medial axis and... Yeah, he was nervous talking to her. Yeah, uh, well, wait, 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 wait. Those Cylons pursuing their men's. Can get in a lot of trouble. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. She wants what she wants. As long as you know. <laughs> <laughs> get it in! Machines are not people. Oh. Machines. My Come wife. On, Chief. This person. She's a blow up doll, Carl. They all are. Oh, Chief, Sharon, that is. Boomer. Call them what you will, they're all the same. You can't trust any of them. So you probably can't trust you. Man, you're hurting, boy. These are pilots from the memorial wall. We wanted to take them with us. You know, so we wouldn't leave him behind with the others. The others. A lot of photos still I'm down glad there. he's got Nikki. Who they are anymore. Have you? As you were. Son. I don't think they ever had a scene together, have they? I don't think Hot Dog's ever talking, uh, talk, spoken <laughs> to Admiral Adama. No, I'm literally talking about the lives and well-being of thousands of people in the fleet. Is that what you were thinking about when you outed Starbucks secret? The well-being of thousands yeah, right? of people? Yeah, right? Right? political gain of Gaius Baltar, again. Does everything have to be reduced to your personal feelings about Carl Thrace? Or your actions of an asshole. Repeatedly. Looking for patterns, trying to see what comes to me. I thought that if I assign numbers to the notes... I mean, I get it. Look for any pattern you can. Maybe stars? Find a star chart. See if... see if it fits. I found my body. And I burned it. On Earth. I don't know what I am. I had to ask him a question. Do you know how to plug him in? Of course she does. <laughs> can you turn him on? I know what you are. You're my daughter. <laughs> Don't forget it. Oh, she needed that. All I am asking is that my people have a voice in the government. That's I represent fair. thousands of people. I'm not talking about myself. This is not for me personally. You have Paula be the leader then. She got a mouth on her. Go ahead, look me in the eye and tell me about the time that you made a truly heroic act of conscience which helped you not even in the slightest. Tell That's me, funny. I'll even believe you. You're right. I wouldn't trust me either. Hmm. I don't know if he's changed enough. I dare you. I double dog dare you. That doesn't seem like that should be what you do. What's up with the pigeon in your house? Is there a broken window? Get out of oh, here! Are you gonna chase it? Come on. Come on. Rocky chasing a chicken. Open the ah! skylight. Mm. Interesting camera shift. What's happening? Okay. Can I have your attention, please? Mm-hmm. 
I'm sure you're all aware that a child was abducted from this ship recently. I thought that a rescue mission was impractical. Well, I was wrong. But that's changed now, I guess, because he does know where she's being held. How? What I know is that Hera has some meaning that transcends the here and now. She is meant to fulfill a role, just as we were. Yeah. And so we're going. You'll go, Tori. Truth is, you never could be alone. Oh, well, yeah, yeah that is correct. Strictly volunteer only. I love the way this is being filmed. And the Admiral also wants any former colonial officer incarcerated after the recent union. <gasps> So, like, we're going to see, like, Celix and Racetrack and everybody else? We're going after her. Or what's left of her. Oh, come Gallons on, Athena. Gallon's probably had her sliced and diced and cut up into a thousand specimens. Stop it. Just stop it. I have a little bit of faith, and that's coming from me. It's not going to be all right, Carl. No. You're wrong. Good for you, Carl. I don't like calling him Carl. Dots. Lots and lots and lots of dots. Read between the lines, or the dots in this case. She wants her mother. Well, she can't have her mother, now can she? I'm sorry. I, I forgot to sound all soppy and soft when speaking of <laughs> a child. She is a child. That holds the key to our continued existence somewhere in her genetic code. So maybe well, be let's nice. Get a tube in her and get her ready. Or give her a fluffy bunny to h cuddle with and maybe some ice cream, you cranky jackass. Oh, Simon's just like ready to go. I should stop. Yes, I will. I will. Mm. We can't stop, right? You're in love. Right. Yeah, I know what that's like. Mm. Odd exchange. <sighs> They're going after her. No, I'm not joining Adar's presidential campaign because I don't like politics to begin with and a national campaign is just so... Uh. <laughs> uh, I'll make a deal. I'll go on the date if you'll stop bugging me about this campaign. A date with whom? Sean Ellison. Sounds familiar. Is it? Okay. All right. Do we know who Sean Ellison is? Yeah, stay home and eat sushi by yourself. That's, that's what I would do. This is a decision I have made for myself. Mm. If it turns out that there are not enough personnel to crew Galactica, I will lead a raptor assault. They're gonna take Galactica? This is likely to be a one-way trip. Volunteers move to the starboard side. Everyone else to the port. How many are we going to get? We know where Hilo's going to stand. Well, don't everyone move at once. Boy Scout Lee. Hot dog. Doctor. <laughs> Pete can't afford to lose a doctor. Go on back, German. You're a good man. <sighs> Gaius. I think there's something better to do. <laughs> Gaius. Gaius. Excuse me. Thank you. Whew. You didn't think you're gonna take off without me, Admiral, did you? Never crossed my mind, Madam President. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
guys. Prove to Lee that you are willing to make the sacrifice. <sighs> what a wiener. Figures that brain damage Stylon was in us hunting in the middle of an asteroid field. More things change, more hey, things stay the you're same. Lucky you're not still in the brig or on a prison ship. That's what I'm saying. We're right on top of a Traitors. A black hole? What? A black hole? Why? Why? You're not gonna believe this. It's Baystar. Colony. Based on the coordinates we got from Sam, we have determined that the Cylon colony is located here. It's within our jump range, but there's a sizable catch. Black hole. This right here is our only parking spot. That's right on top of the fragging. Yeah. Less than one, click by our estimates. one click. <sighs> one click range. Leave only one way in and out, then make it impossible to get past the gates. Yep. Yeah. Right. That's where we're going. Jesus. 